There are currently two ways to reorganize items within Blackboard Ultra. Um, so if, let's say, for example, this new document we wanted down here at the bottom. The first way, and probably the easiest for most people, is to just hover your mouse over the item you want to move. You'll see over here on the side, little up-down arrows pop up. Click that and just drag it down to the bottom. Hold it for a second to make sure it goes in the right spot and let it go. And now you can see it's down there at the bottom. If you want to move it inside folders, you can do the same. Just move it and then hover it, and you'll see that it's highlighted. So once that little content folder is highlighted, there, and it'll even open it up, and you can put it where you want inside of that. If I wanted it inside of this folder, I would hover over that and work down to where I want it, so on and so forth. Um, that is, in my opinion, kind of clunky to, to do because, um, like, if I hover, hover it up here, it takes it a second. Now, I'm, it's, it's not very responsive. I have, it annoys me to use it like that. And now you can see I didn't want to put it in there, but it went in there anyway because it didn't keep up with it. So let's find it again. <clears throat> new document, and I want it out here. I'm going to just put it back at the top. So the other way is to use the keyboard. Um, this is, again, a little bit clunky to get started, but in my opinion, it's a little bit easier to use once you get going. Basically, what you want to do is you want to use your browser's um, tab function. So you just hit tab over and over again until you get to this little up and down arrow. And you can hold shift tab to navigate upwards, and it will just go to every link. And this is built into the browser. This is not something Blackboard did. And you find the one that you want. Now, when you first load the page, your little um, tab is going to be all the way up in the top, and it's going to take forever to get down there. So you can, to speed that up, click on the hidden from students thing, or visible to students, whatever, and that will kind of put it there, and then you can just hit tab once to get where you're going. But once you have tab there, notice I'm not clicking on it, I just push return, and it'll pick it up, and I can use my arrows to move up and down where I want. So if I put it right there, it will go inside, but if I put it down at the bottom, it'll go underneath. And I just push enter again, or return if you're on a Mac, same thing, to drop it there. Now I can pick it back up, and if I wanted to put it inside this folder, you can see right now it'll just go inside the folder, but I can push the right arrow, and it'll open that folder up, and then I can go down and put it where I want. And then I'm hovering over this one, and I push the right arrow again, and it opens that one up. So you can see that's a little bit, in my opinion, more user-friendly, because it, it's not ambiguous. I'm not, I don't have to worry about, okay, am I really dropping this where I want it? It's putting it exactly where it goes. Then you just hit enter or return, and there it is. So this is not, in my opinion, as good for reorganizing whole courses as the old Blackboard Learn menu was, where you could reorganize everything with um, inside of like a little menu, and it was it was a lot easier, in my opinion. However, this is a lot better on mobile devices, which I think is why they went with this. So that's just something to keep in mind. It is easier to you to do it this way on mobile devices, and it does work better than the old one on mobile devices, just not so much for those of us who are accessing it using a laptop or a desktop computer. Um, again, if it were me, I would use the tab and enter to, to do that, to um, reorganize things, but you can just drag and drop if you prefer. Hopefully this helps. Let me know. I'm happy to do whatever I can. Thanks.